So this year uh, we had a really kind of cool late spring and early summer in June and into July and mildew pressure was really high most of the growing season. So we had to spray with sulfur more often than other years. We were spraying every seven to 10 days as opposed to every 14 to 20 days. And that's just to keep um, you know, mold spores at a, at a minimum. Um, and you can see here, even into August, we've, we've had to continue to spray, you know, the Syrah is still two months probably from harvest. So there's sulfur dust, which this will probably get one more spray. So the white here is sulfur dust. The white is sulfur dust. Yeah. Um, and for the most part, we've been able to keep rot and, and mildew to a minimum. So that's been great. What does sulfur, why is sulfur sprayed on the leaves? Uh, it's sprayed on the entire canopy area and the fruit zone um, because the spores live both on the leaves and then onto the clusters. So we want to we want to knock them knock them out completely. What happens if you don't do this? Um, well, you get <laughs> you get uh, rot in the in the clusters, and then you get you know you get berries that start to fall apart and and can really uh, negatively impact your wine and your yield. Uh, yeah, it would definitely hurt your yield. I mean, if you're not, if you're dropping the fruit that becomes infected, yeah, you could lose, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent, depending on how widespread it is. Okay, so we're in this Syrah block here, and this is the side that gets most of the sun morning and kind of midday, and so we leave most of the leaves here so the fruit doesn't get sunburnt. And then on the afternoon side, we do more leafing, not fully exposing it, but opening it up a little bit so there's more airflow, more sunlight, and also to help uh, the sprays penetrate in a year like this um, where there's been, been really high mildew pressure. Um, we had a little mildew here because we didn't leaf as heavily early on. Um, some of it's that, but some of it's just the conditions of the vintage that it was, it was really, you know, cool. And when I say cool, I mean cool for California, which means, you know, high 60s uh, and overcast like this, which is pretty optimal for for formation of mildew. Yeah, nice and cloudy on a yeah. mid mid August day. Yeah, nice for working. So this is a, a Syrah berry and the powdery mildew has kind of split the berry as it develops. You can see the seeds out. And, you know, even with all that, I mean some of the berries still got a little bit of mildew and um, I'll hold it there. Okay. But it's not widespread, um, so you know overall the crop still should be should be quite good. This is sulfur dust on Syrah that has not yet gone through veraison. Here's uh, sulfur dust on riper grapes. Mount Eden. <laughs>